Oh, wow. So MKBHD had made this video about fast charging a while back and I decided to react this to this video because it's still relevant and it's uh, the first video that pops up in YouTube if you search for fast charging. Uh, so in his video, he basically points out that heat is the primary issue with fast charging and that phone manufacturers are tackling this problem with smart engineering like vapor chambers and such and that they're doing their jobs and we should trust them and that fast charging doesn't necessarily ruin the battery. So his video is nice and informative, but unfortunately throughout his video, he fails to mention one crucial fact that compared to, to standard charging, fast charging does in fact destroy the battery inside your phone. You see, unlike what these phone companies want you to believe, fast charging is not something new and it's not rocket science either. Uh, ever since the dawn of lithium ion batteries, Different charging curves, different voltages have been subject to study. Uh, there are bazillions of studies out there, some of the most famous ones carried out by uh, the US military. And the results are pretty clear. Standard charging significantly extends the life span of the battery. Uh, these lithium ion batteries, uh, that's an 18650, and uh, that's a Sony wrap from a phone. They're pretty much the same thing. It's just the shape that is different. They have a nominal voltage uh, that is 3.7 for both of these guys. And in order to charge an 18650 like this, you add half a volt to the nominal voltage and you charge it with 4.2 volts. Then charging is stopped when the current drops below like 100 milliamps in the case of a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So that's like the golden standard charging for a 3.7 volt cell. Now you can charge uh, one of these cells with much higher voltages. I've charged these LG cells with 20 volts. Do not try this at home. It is dangerous. You can even go higher until the battery goes kaboom and you know that that is the limit of that cell. But if you do charge them with higher voltages, uh, you significantly shorten the lifespan of your battery. So as MKBHD says, there is an industry standard for the lifespan of the battery of a phone and it's like 80% after roughly two years. This is a Nokia 6.1 from 2018 and the battery is still at 86%. This is a Samsung from 2019. Battery is incredibly good. I think more than 90% I haven't measured. But my wife's phone became essentially useless after a year of fast charging, so I had to replace the battery. A decent pair of Sony VTC5, uh, right before Sony sold its battery division to a Japanese company, would last like five to six years. I stopped using these guys, not because the capacity dropped under 80% or anything, but because the wrapping and the case is so damaged that it's actually dangerous to use them. Uh, these Panasonic cells, uh, these would last up to eight years or so. Take from, I don't know, a, a decade ago. So if you're planning to change your phone every year, which is precisely what most phone companies want you to do, then yes, fast charging doesn't necessarily ruin your phone's battery because you're going to change it anyway after that. Just keep in mind that these guys, unlike uh, lead acid batteries, these guys are not recycled. Okay, uh, the only thing that can be recycled from a wrap like this uh, is this uh, connector, gold, gold plated pins. And lithium is not really abundant. Its mining is challenging, comes with a lot of consequences, and phones in general are not recycled. But phone manufacturers don't care. Apple, for example, claims that they've removed the charger from the box because they care about the environment. But when uh, the EU was pushing them to use USB-C to obviously reduce garbage production, they said, okay, we're going to use uh, USB-C, of course, but we're going to make our own USB-C. We're going to make a proprietary USB-C. So yeah, obviously they don't care about the environment or anything. So yeah, you can uh, use a phone for many years if you take good care of it. And obviously if you charge it with a standard five watt charger, 
a 5000 milliamp hour battery lasts for at least um, like two days and sure you can find an evening to charge your phone with a slow charger uh, another thing that i'd like to point out is the problem of overheating so marcus brownlee says that these companies are using ingenious methods to prevent overheating while fast charging you see, vapor chambers are great for transferring heat uh, to the extraction points. On a graphics card, for example, vapor chambers transfer heat to the radiators and then fans blow that heat away from the card. Uh, but phones, on the other hand, are pretty much insulated to begin with. They're made out of glass and plastic. And uh, when you buy a new phone, it's shiny and beautiful. First thing you do is to buy uh, one of these ugly plastic cases and you put your phone inside and now it's even more insulated you add a screen protector at another layer of insulation the design of these phones is that stupid uh, you buy a new phone but you cannot use it without extra protection that's just ridiculous imagine buying a new car it's beautiful and shiny but you have to wrap it with plastic and make cutouts to be able to see outside that's how stupid uh, this design is. So point is that when you put your phone inside a case, then heat is not going anywhere. It cannot be cooled down because in order to cool down something, you need to extract heat from it. And I'm pretty sure that you've already seen those notifications while fast charging, like phone temperature is so high, is too high and stuff. Uh, so yeah. Try to use your phone as long as possible. Buy refurbished, buy second hand. Repair your phones, learn to repair them. It's easy, you can watch videos and over time you get the hang of it. And then hopefully we won't be swimming in a sea of trash pretty soon. And since this was a smartphone related video, I'm going to end this one with Steve Jobs' final words. And I quote, Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's it for today. See you next time.